Congratulations, you have reached the final unit of our first chapter. You saw a lot of exciting work and hopefully learn a lot of new ideas that will uh, allow you to understand and interpret these projects. We saw the conceptual ideas of uh, Kenneth Frampton on uh, critical regionalism and the relationship to globalization. We saw an overview of the work of Rafael Moneo, his most important project. We also saw two case studies on his projects at Columbia University and Harvard University. Later you saw a video of, uh, on the work of Stephen Ho, who was last year awarded the American Institute of Architects Gold Medal. The video was recorded by his friends and colleagues. We saw two videos of uh, his work. One, uh, the MIT Simmons Hall, which I went to see in uh, Cambridge and recorded for you. And then we saw two other videos by, um, done by the office of Stephen Ho that are on the Chengdu project, the slice prosthetic block, and also a conversation with uh, Stephen Ho. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do the homework. Uh, the homework consists in looking at these projects, analyzing them and discussing them on the forum with your peers. That's the first part of it. The second part is I would ask you to go around your city and find projects that have some relationship to uh, these projects. What is the relationship to a building and its context? Does a building relate to a local culture, to a local tradition in which you live in? Or it's more related to a broader global culture. Is there a building in uh, the place where you live that totally breaks up with its context and tries to establish something completely new? Are there any international ideas that have influenced an architect from the place where you are and um, give, inspired him to design a building in your own context? What do you think about this work? what would you do and what would you change in these projects? Do you think there is any uh, work that is related to the structure of the building and that exposes the structure in the exterior as the Simmons Hall by uh, Stephen Ho? Do you think there is any building that slices the project as the slice porosity block by Stephen Ho in uh, Chengdu? to adapt to the sunlight, to adapt to the local conditions. Is there any building that has the poetic reference that Stephen Hall has used in the plaza, in the fountains, and in the light pavilion in, in Chengdu? Is there a building that uh, uses Brissolet as Rafael Moneo did in the Columbia University campus here in, in uh, uptown uh, Manhattan? Is there another building that allows you to go underneath as the Lisa building at Harvard University and that captures the lights and, and takes it inside. With all these ideas and more that you may find yourself, I invite you to look at your city and to analyze the architecture that you see around you. If you don't find those projects around you that can uh, help you analyze them, you can find some of them online. You can do further research on the work of Rafael Moneo, Stephen Ho, and other architects which we discussed in uh, uh, the globalization and, and critical regionalism introductory unit. You can also find some uh, other architects that um, I didn't mention and you think that are related to this, uh, this concept and propose them to us and post them on our forum. I hope you enjoyed this first chapter and I look forward to your comments, to our discussions and to seeing the work that you show us by submitting it online. See you in chapter 2.